Hi, I'm Mike Elliott, and you're watching CEO Rogue Show, where we help investors find small and mid-cap stocks that may be undervalued on the verge of a breakout or have other near-term catalysts that make them a potential investment opportunity. Today, we're joined by Greg Lambrecht. He is the CEO of SinglePoint, a leading technology and acquisition company focused on making continued strategic acquisitions and investments in companies operating in high growth areas. They trade under the ticker SING. Good afternoon, Greg. Welcome to the show. Hey, thanks for having me. So for those investors that are going to be new to the story, I'd just like to start off by getting an overview of what Single Point does. So uh, tell us about your business. Well, you know, in the past couple of years, we've we've made some uh, strategic investments and uh, some of them have, have really been shining lights. Um, the, the one that was uh, the longest ago was a company called Convexium. And um, they actually fill the vials for the different um, bait pipes. So they don't they don't touch the plant. They have the machines and they fill the vials. They've since went public, um, which uh, which is you know really turned out great for us. So we're very excited about that one. Um, probably the most recent uh, acquisition is called Direct Solar, and uh, boy, they're really doing well. In fact. Um, uh, Probably 80, 90 percent of our revenue is coming from Direct Solar, and and this last third quarter we did over a million dollars of revenue with them, which is up from two hundred thousand in two thousand eighteen. So, pretty serious hockey stick growth. We project them to do three million in the fourth quarter, and we expect those numbers to keep going up. So, uh, we're really excited about the solar um, acquisition as well. So yeah, that was actually going to be my next question. Uh, that that solar business has been rapidly expanding. I mean, you you basically gave us the overview. Anything else you want to tell us about that, as far as what markets you're operating in, or or um, how you plan to continue growing it uh, next year? Yeah, I do. And uh, thanks for asking the question because it's really important to talk about our model. So what we've done at Direct Solar is basically we're the we're the you know the rocket mortgage of the lending or the Uber or the you know the uh, vacation rental. We don't we don't own any trucks or warehouses or panels. We own the customer, so we're kind of like the lead gen. So we get that customer, and we explain to them that we will fill out all the paperwork for all the rebates in their area. We will we have different financing partners in their area. We'll get the rest that they need finance, and then of course we have relationships with all of the installers in their area. So. We, we take that customer from A to Z and hold their hand and get solar put on their house and they really don't have to do anything except for sign the paper. So it's a great model. It's a very successful model. And of course, the, the installers that we know across the country love us because we call them and say, hey, we got, we got another installation job for you. Um, so the thing about this business is because of that, it's so easily expandable. We can go into any state and county without having to go into a lot of money with trucks and employees and all that. So that as a public company, when we saw what the model was, that's what we were really excited about. And when we bought the company, they were doing about a million and a half a year in revenues. And, you know, we're expecting or projecting uh, somewhere close to 12 to 15 million in 2020. So it's, it's really been a great buy for single point. And so you have a, tell us about your CBD business. What are the latest developments in this, in this high growth industry and how is single point going after that market? Yeah, another great question. So we originally, you know, wanted to get into the CBD business because um, over the years, you know, we've been a public entity for almost nine years and, you know, we're, we're fully reporting. Um, we have almost 40,000 shareholders. So we're pretty, pretty solid public entity. We have, you know, a lot of volume on our stock. Uh, we purposely, um, as a business and management as a board, did not get into touching the plant. Um, and the reason why is because, you know, federally it was illegal and it affects your bank account and many other things. Well, when we saw the House and the Senate um, and the administration legalize CBD, we thought, okay, now we're going to go ahead and jump into it. Originally, we uh, put up our website, singleseed.com, and on there we're selling, you know, 30, 40 different products. But really about six, six months to a year ago, a phenomenon started sweeping across the country, and that's people started smoking hemp. 
which a lot of people would have never predicted. So in my previous background, I took a scar company public on the NASDAQ and we raised $10 million and put scars and humidors in 30,000 accounts across the country and Canada. So when I saw this smokable hemp, I thought, wow, not, not only do I have experience on the distribution, but I also have experience with, you know, tobacco, if you will. So we really are focused on, on, uh, on the on the smokable hemp, and we've come out with our our, uh, our own brand. It's called 1606, and uh, we're we're having a huge de debut with that at the MJ Biscon show on December 11th through the 13th. We're going to have two different booths, and um, we're going to un unveil our our, uh, our hemp smokable product there. So we're really excited about CBD, but particularly hemp smoking smokable hemp. All right. So, um, yeah, I didn't I didn't realize that was a growing market. I knew uh, there was some smokable hemp products on the market, but I didn't realize that was a, such a, a fast growing market opportunity. That's so that's great. You guys are perfectly positioned for that. So you got solar, you got CBD and now this um, opportunity with smokable hemp. What what are the verticals? Are there if any that you guys want to talk about or other businesses or have we kind of covered everything? Yeah, I, I think so. I mean, I think that, um, uh, you know, the, the direct solar is, is, is such a revenue generating and, and has made us profitable already. The, the hemp business, you know, being in, in tobacco, you know, I, I understand and I have knowledge that how powerful that is. In fact, uh, from some, some of the statistics I've seen already, uh, you know, hemp is CBD. So, if you take everything, whether it's gummy bears or tinctures, uh, smoking hemp is already 25% of the market. Wow. So people are already, you know, smoking cigarettes and little cigars. So they're going to smoke, you know, uh, hemp. So we're very excited about that. And then also some of our other um, acquisitions like Convexium, obviously they went public. So, um, you know, pretty, pretty soon, almost any day, we're going to be able to, to sell those stocks and that should be a really a windfall for our balance sheet. So things are things are really going well at single point. Mainly um, after all these years, you know, we're we're really have hockey stick revenues. So Greg, really exciting business model, really exciting that the the solar division is taking off and and that obviously you've got um, now an involvement in the C B D and the hemp space, all both you know very high growth areas. So it's really an exciting opportunity for investors. Um, what else should investors know? right now as we kind of close out 2019, head into 2020, uh, what catalysts or uh, anything else should uh, we watch for for single point? Well, I think the investors should know that, um, you know, I, I've uh, been, been to the, the movie before and what I mean by that is NASDAQ. So our goal, um, you know, and, and we're all in this to, to get enough revenues and uh, get a, a balance sheet to where we can uh, go up to the NASDAQ. So, so that's something they should know that, you know, I've, I've done that before and I plan on, on doing it again with this company. Um, the other thing the investors, you know, should know is that, you know, we, we are, we are a very healthy public company. And what I mean by that is, you know, we have a lot of volume in our stock, mainly compared to, to other companies. Um, I think it's very important that we didn't get, um, uh, involved in cannabis because, um, you know, right now, most of the cannabis stocks are down 80, 90 percent, and, and we're not lumped into that. We, we never did get involved in cannabis. We're in solar and hemp, which are both legal and, and more cleaner. So we, I think we made a, a good decision there. Um, the, other, the other thing for the investors to know is that this stock over the last five years has had a couple different runs. The, the first one was in 2014. We came out and said that we were going to put uh, point of sale terminals and dispensaries. Of course, not touching the plant, but being a you know accelerated product, and the stock went from you know zero zero five to, to fourteen cents, and and then um, you know a lot of the stocks went down when Jeff Session got on and, and said some things, and then two years ago, being a technology company, uh, we were very involved with Bitcoin and blockchain and cryptocurrencies. In fact, we uh, developed an app where people could uh, put their Bitcoin on the app. And, you know, we did a national commercial with Kevin Harrington. And again, our stock went up from a penny yeah. all the way to 13 cents and stayed there for a long time. In fact, we had 
over three months of days where we were doing over a million dollars uh, cash, you know, a day. So here we are back at a penny in solar and hemp CBD. So my point is, is you know, it, it, I'm optimistic that we're going to, uh, you know, go back up again. Well, there's a lot of reason to think think that is the case because you've got uh, several very, I mean, if you look at your last earnings too, I think also, you know, there's reason to think that 2020 could be a real breakout year for the stock. So we're going to start our coverage here on CEO Roadshow and uh, we're going to continue to follow Single Point into the next year. We really appreciate you coming on, Greg, to talk to us about the business model and uh, about the growth you guys are, are positioned for coming into next year. And we hope to get you back on again for an update after the first of the year. Well, thank, thanks for having us and uh, keep an eye out on Sing. Go Sing. Thanks, Greg. It was a pleasure. Uh, thank you. I appreciate you. Uh, so, everybody, we've been talking to Greg Lambrick again. He's the CEO of SinglePoint. It's a leading technology and acquisition company focused on making continued strategic acquisitions and investments in companies operating in high growth areas like solar and like CBD. Um, they trade under the ticker S-I-N-G. So please put them on the radar. Uh, learn more about them at their website, singlepoint.com. Uh, thank you very much, everyone, for watching CEO Roadshow and stay tuned.